we're going to show that y of t is equal to zero and y of t is equal to t cubed are both solutions to the IVP to the initial value problem given by the ODE um, y prime is equal to 3y to the two-thirds power and uh, y of zero is equal to zero. So this y of zero is our initial condition, right? Um, so that would be zero, zero, like the point. And then we're going to explain why this doesn't contradict the uniqueness theorem. So let's start off by uh, doing the first, pro the first part of this problem. So we're going to show that both this and this are solutions to our uh, initial value problem here. Okay, so let's plug both into the ODE. So let's work with um, y of t is equal to 0 first. So if we take the first derivative of 0, we just get 0. And this is equal to 3 times 0 to the 2 thirds. Yes, so 0 is equal to 0. Um, so the ODE is satisfied, as is when we plug in a 0 into our equation here, um, into our solution, we find that it is a solution to the IVP, because that's satisfied there, the initial condition. So this is a solution. Okay. Now let's work with the other one. So y of t is equal to t cubed. So then we have t cubed on the left side, we're taking the first derivative of that, is equal to 3 times t to the third to the two thirds power. On the left side we get 3t squared by deriving. And on the right side we also get a 3t squared, this time by canceling some exponents, right? So we have that, the ODE is satisfied, as is when we plug in a zero, we get y of zero is equal to zero to the third, which is equal to zero. So our, our initial condition is also satisfied. So we have that um, y of t is equal to t cubed is a solution as well. Okay, and now we'll deal with the second part on the next slide. So when we have this um, ODE, this initial value problem actually, so 3y to the 2 thirds, and then y of 0 is equal to 0, so which again means 0, 0, this is the point. Same thing as saying this is the point, the ty point, 0, 0. Right, and then we have our y prime is equal to um, 3y to the 2 thirds. That's our ODE, right? So we're supposed to, and um, we just found that, well, y of t is equal to 0 is a solution, as is this one over here. But by the uniqueness theorem, we shouldn't have that. So why doesn't this contradict our uh, uniqueness theorem, which says we have to have, that two dis distinct solutions cannot be, um, that, well, two distinct solutions cannot solve the same initial value problem. They would have to be the same exact solution. So uh, let's take a look at the hypotheses of the uniqueness theorem, okay? So this thing that we see here, our ODE is already in normal form, so that one's fine. Um, our f of t, so let's look at that. So we have a y prime is equal to 3y to the 2 thirds. This is equal to our f of ty, right? That's continuous um, everywhere, basically. Okay, so that's fine. Except for we see that when we take the partial derivative with respect to y, we get 3 times 2 over 3 times y to the negative 1 third, which turns out to be a 2 over y to the 1 third. And we can note that at the point 0, 0, where y is equal to 0, then we get 2 over 0 to the 1 third, which is undefined, right? So we see we've broken the hypotheses. Not all of the hypotheses are satisfied. Um, by our initial value problem. So we could say that because um, partial f partial y is not not continuous continuous or defined, right? Same thing. Is not continuous or defined at um, the point 0, 0, specifically when y is equal to 0. Um, the hypotheses hypotheses um, of the uniqueness theorem uniqueness theorem are not satisfied. I'll make that a semicolon. Are not satisfied. Okay? So there's nothing to contradict, right? Because the uniqueness theorem didn't even apply in this case. Oh my dog, get up.